how to organically grow your nft project hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can grow your nft project with this simple tool so having said that let's just jump into it so over here i'm on twitter and i'm gonna go ahead and sign up uh, and create a new account on twitter and i'm gonna choose my google account and click on confirm to log in and over here i'm just simply gonna add uh, some details so that i can create my account I'm just gonna go with random dates over here you know and simply click on next and track where you see twitter content across the web Twitter you use the personalize your friends sure yeah let's go whatever and once that's done we just enter in you know uh nft hashtags that we need to add otherwise it won't work so what we'll do is we'll go to hashtag generator like this one over here there was a site called bigbanggram.com right now over here we just simply you know create some hashtags so i'm simply going to go ahead and write nft over here and i'm going to click on generate hashtag and it should generate a bunch of different hashtags for me to use all right so here we go and now what i'll do is i'll copy this one over here and let me just go ahead and go into my profile real quick click on edit and over here in bio i'll paste that and then there should be more over here nft artwork yeah we'll go with that one why are there some netflix over here i don't know okay nft giveaway we could use that nft marketplace nft story nft gallery could use that we'll copy those and go back over here and add those as well boom there we go we should go into hard real quick maybe i found okay here we go this one nft community nft collector nft artist yeah i think that's good so now we'll just go back into our profile and add these as well so there you go next what we need to do is just simply click on save that way we have a bunch of different uh you know tags onto our profile so that we know now let's go ahead and you know edit more so keep the name over here you can add in your location add in your own website for nft and what you need to do is you need to edit your profile picture with the appropriate nft art so i already have some so here we go these were some that i created on my own so i'm pretty sure they won't be as valuable but since i created them on my own now i'll just simply zoom in and here we go you zoom out a little bit here we go and just simply click on apply and then i want to add a nice background and for the background i also created one earlier like this one i really like this image for some reason so i'll just add that over there apply i really like it i created that myself and then just simply click on save and boom there we go next we just reload it there we go now it looks much better i mean you should probably put like a banner over here of your nft but you know i think this works too now what we can do is we can go to home right now that we have an account let's go ahead and start following a bunch of different people so that we can know so we need to like go ahead and follow some popular nft community so we'll just search for nft over here community hashtag nft right so some top people are going to be over here um okay so we need to follow like super apes club sure we'll follow that we'll also follow the big dainties over here yeah i think this looks nice now what we're going to do is we're going to go into their followers list and here we go now it is time for us to you know use the tool that i was telling you about so the tool that we're going to be using is called a social media bot and it is created by this company called pelock.com you can go over to their site and go into products and over here you will see social media bot just simply click on it and it's going to open up over here and just simply choose the platform that you are trying to you know choose the bot on and on twitter now if you're wondering that if you you know somehow get banned on twitter then no you won't uh, no matter what you do you will not get banned on twitter for using a bot um that quickly although you will get soft banned for using way too much bot so keep that in mind but using just to gain a little bit of followers it won't hurt you won't get banned never so over here i have opened up twitter and what you're going to need to do now is to have like you know install it onto your computer so click on install button over here and then you can install it onto your chrome browser and just simply click on google chrome and it's going to take you over to the extension store over here and just simply click on add extension wait for a couple of seconds for it to be downloaded and added and then boom here you go now you're good to go so let me just go ahead and pin it over here and now we are good to go so all we have to do is just come over to our site over here right the one we're trying to follow will have to be in the following list right 
click on the bot select twitter and just simply click on follow over here on the right side click on follow and over here click on okay okay so the maximum likes per you know right now is 10 because you know i haven't bought it so let me just go ahead and configure it to let's say 10 over here and now what i can do is if i just simply click on follow but before we do that we need to go into the options over here and to do that just simply click on the bot and click on options and you will arrive over here and over here you can configure your account so over here as you can see since this is a free version uh, it, it has limitations so the mac like slash follower lessons are going to be 10 max clicks per interval is going to be one and only one session per hour and image downloading is disabled so over here just simply switch it to one all right i gotta do that actually and over here 10 let me just go with 10 over here change everything to 10 and once this is done we are good to go i'm pretty sure and then you can also add you know don't follow and don't unfollow buttons over here so keep that in mind and over here let me just go ahead and add 10 over here now hopefully it should work so we click over here and we click on follow and it's not following and click on twitter all right going to the following list over here where there are followers and we're going to go into the following list and we click on the bot and we click on follow over here as you can see now that that's done we are now you know into it so over here this is going to be how it looks like so you're going to have to follow one follow person after the interval of time so as soon as this bar comes down it's going to follow another person and keep on doing that until the timer runs out and stuff like that so that's how you basically do it and don't worry you know you can go ahead and change the interval in the options as i said before but keep it a minute or maybe two minutes so that you know twitter doesn't detect you as a bot and doesn't you know shadow ban you or soft bans you as well i mean it can't permanently ban you but you will get shadow ban so you won't get to follow other people and other people won't get to follow you so this is how i do it as i said before uh if you buy the other premium version which is like 19 dollars per year which is the personal user which is for the single person then you will get unlimited access and then you can go ahead and follow and as many people as you like you can go ahead and follow their users and the people that's following them and you know their followers and stuff like that and move so on so on so that you can grow a community that way when you follow a lot of accounts and like a lot of photos related to nfts your feed will be filled with nfts and slowly you will garner some more followers of nfts and then you can go ahead and unload your nft project so that's how you basically do it as you can see it's growing up and down so there you go as you can see i followed already four people so keep this in mind guys so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye